in later session in app explorer so this is app okay which we call app explorer so here uh, uh, on which app we are working so by default our work classes comes okay uh, okay so we'll we'll talk about the class also what is the work class data class and other things but for now just this is like app app uh, app explorer okay where like any developer will be there here for most of the times on this uh, on this uh, this app explorer okay and from here we can select the classes and we can uh, on selections of individual classes we can open the rules or anything from that individual classes okay so this is like the classes and uh, on the branch okay so whatever the branch we have created that we can see so this is a hr apps okay under that we can create a branch okay and that will uh, come here okay on expand like once we create a branch we'll get expand uh, link and then on click of that expand okay uh, menu we can see that what all branches we have added so we will we'll see the branch as well in in a later session okay but just for now um, see that what is this classes and branch okay so if you have just starting okay you need you may need only uh, to start with the classes okay so from here if you see the work is there i can change it to data okay or once i'll start typing okay pega will show on the suggestions okay and from that also we can select it so we don't have to uh, rem remember everything okay so see once i selected data the all the data classes came and then uh, records okay so this is one of the important again uh, important part okay so from here this is like it provides the inventory of all uh, pega rules okay so pega works on the um, rule okay so we write code uh, as a rule okay so here this is one of the important things okay so i'll, I'll start from the top okay in applications definitions okay so all things so in under this category what we can see so we will see application okay so as you can see that under application application we can see application so if i click on this one okay it will open all the instances of applications rule okay whatever it is there in this application okay or in this server okay so you can see that it has a lot of okay applications uh, applications and it comes from the database okay because uh, everything pega stores in in database so it lists down the things from the pega database okay so similar to that if you have created any applications document applications guide requirement or specifications okay so everything will be stored in database and once we click okay if you have created any that will uh, come to that this main window okay that working window so you can see when I click the specifications, we can see here and that things came. Okay, so these are the already these these were created from the by Pega. So like these are the out of the box rules. Now next is the data model. So this is one of the important things. Okay, so under this one uh, we can see the property. Okay, so this is one of the important because to start with any applications. Okay, or any any uh, like. A code like we need the variables and properties like variables if i compare with the traditional language like uh, or open source language property uh, like um, there we create the variables or there we say uh, variables here in pega the same thing we call the property so we can see that uh, uh, like once i click we can see the property here okay so we have property we have database okay so we'll we'll talk in other sessions okay about individually about these rules but for now like yes under data model we can see all the things mostly related to data model okay so we can see the data pages uh, data sets data transform edit input edit validate okay property qualifier so we'll we'll see but for now just for your information that if you are looking any information related to data model you can quickly come and you can click that link and on click of that link you can search it okay so here you can filter it out based on your class or if you remember the uh, property name the next is decision so here we'll we'll see everything related to decision okay like in our application so when we start uh, developing any application or for any code okay we have to always take uh, some decision okay so to take a decision pega provides um, varieties of rules okay through which we can through which we can take that uh, decision okay so if you see the most common one is that when rule so it's it's if i compare with the java it's very if else kind of a things so okay if let me open any rule okay so here it returns either true or false okay so we can add like multiple conditions and then logic and then end of the day it will return the true or false so this is one of the important uh, decision rule so yeah so once i click here once i click okay we we got this this as well 
then uh, integration is there so connector sorry so we have the connectors so connectors under connectors what we can see is okay we'll see all the rules okay uh, through which we are connecting to external system so let's say i have to get the account details okay or i have to take some uh, like product details from external system so we connect to external system through this connect rule okay so all are connect rules just the difference is that it's like that like how we are connecting so we are connecting over rest or we are connecting over uh, shop okay or connecting through the connect as well but here we can see mostly that integration connectors okay connect rules so this is connect rules when we we try to get the information from some other systems we create connect rules okay and then integrations mapping okay so we'll learn more about this one in, in in later session but for now like mapping so when we connect to external system okay either to get the data or to send the data we have to create a data structure okay and and like kind of a parse rule okay how we want to pass the rule okay when we are receiving the data or we are, when we are sending the data okay parse the tool and how we can use it in our applications so for those things we create uh, integrations mapping rules okay so we'll learn about this one also in in future session but for now is yes, just remember that the uh, like the mapping okay mapping things will come under integration mapping and then integrations resources so here again we have a uh, few things okay like the email account email listeners so if you are using email listeners file listeners okay or the service package which is very important okay so under integrations we can see on uh, those those rules so if you're just starting don't worry about this integrations part maybe you'll not interact okay so you have to mostly focus on data model decision okay so you can you, you can skip that also like for now integration and under integration services so whatever the services we have developed so again you can see the only the difference between connector and and so uh, services here is so there we had the similar things okay but just we had the connect here we have the service service means we are going to provide some service means someone is calling to pega applications and pega is giving some information okay so here once i click okay we'll we'll see that if you have any service file rule or service email or service soap so let me click service rest so we can see uh, like we have tons of uh, service rule and these are mostly out of the box created by pega okay so if you have created your rule okay you can again filter it out by name or by the the rule set so here we can see the rule set okay so we can filter it out based on the rule set the next is the organization so here uh, all the organizations related things is there like calendar okay because like calendar uh, some ca in, in pega we have the calendar so it's like we can set that uh, uh, what is the holy date okay or what is the walk time okay so you can say see here we can uh, set the time zone we can set that okay walking hour okay and also if you have any holidays so that we can set and use it in our application but for now just just uh, like see that under organizations will find calendar okay we have the division operator id is that the kind of a login id okay through which we log into applications okay so here we can see so this is also one of the important things if you're just starting with pega maybe you have to navigate uh, like very frequently to operator id and find out any operator id add add uh, or update uh, work group or access group okay so we'll, we'll be using very frequently and then we have organizations organization unit work group and work group. so we'll talk separately about this one but for just now just uh, like think that all the organizations related things okay operator id organizations or like how you're distributing the work okay under organizations everything will come under this one so you can see the work group so work group is nothing it's again a rule in pega uh, and it like uh, it's a group okay like uh, like group of people who work on a similar things okay and then we have a walk queue okay so walk queue or walk basket is same okay so that also will will see in, in in later session now the next is the process so under this one we'll see all the flow related things so we can see the case type we can see the flow uh, flow actions okay if you have to send notifications we can see the notifications under this one so if i click on flow we'll see all the flow okay the notifications and then sla rule as uh, skills so th this this is this is all things related to uh, flow okay and the case type okay so for now just things that if anything is related to you have configured from flow uh, from case management most of the things you'll see from here or like if you are designing a flow okay 
so uh, like designing a flow means you have to create a flow rule so you, under that one if you are configuring any flow extension so that you can find it here okay if you are configuring notifications okay under that flow or sla so everything you'll find under this process category okay so maybe initially so initially what you have to do you have to keep navigating and then like over the time uh, you'll get used to and you'll you'll remember the things but yeah in the beginning people faces this so they like click each category and try to search it so what you can do is you can relate also so if you're looking for any rule you can relate that in what category it can fall okay if you're like uh, not a remember okay so like let's say that if you're searching any component related to user interface so you can directly come to user interface okay so let's talk about this um user interface so whatever the component or the rule we are developing related to ui okay that all falls under that user interface so we have controls okay we have harness navigations rule is nothing but it's a menu menu rule and then we have paragraph okay so paragraph we usually use to send an email and uh, send email or to display some data okay and then we have portals sections and skin so like for now just like think that these rules are there here don't worry about this one okay but yeah as i said okay if you think like if you have to find out any rules related to ui okay you can directly come to integration and uh, sorry user interface section and then we have the technical under this ones we can uh, find uh, like activity binary files uh, functions okay so functions is like a very similar to java java function so we can we can create a function okay and like let's say if you have a piece of uh, java code and if you want to perform something so that we can create as a function and then we have activity okay so we'll, we'll talk about this these rules uh, separately but for now okay if anything if you think that anything related to logic or, or things we can uh, uh, like like if we have written some logic sorts of functions okay uh, that then directly you can come under the technical okay we have the image content as well okay we have the image or we have the binary file so if you are uploading any if you are uploading any uh, file okay that will come under that uh, binary file okay and then we have this uh, sysadmin okay so sysadmin okay under this one will find varieties of rules okay so you can see that this is one of the biggest uh, category okay so the most important one is the classes so whatever the classes we have created so we can see all classes here okay and then we have the database table so if we have created any classes and linked with the database table we can see here so you can see here class name is there and table name is there and then uh, and table name and then database table name is also there okay so this is one of the important okay another important rule which we see in under this category is dynamic system settings so we'll talk about dynamic system settings also but for now just things this is like a property file in java okay so if you have to update any dynamic value directly to uh, productions okay we use this rules and this is one of the heavily i used rules okay and then we have agent agent schedule authentic uh, rules related to authentication service okay so we'll, we'll see these rules later on but for now okay uh, just just see that like if someone is saying okay like classes then uh, like in your mind directly it should come sysadmin class database table database and uh, database table yeah so these things uh, very frequently will be using uh, from here or the rule set okay rule set is another very frequently used okay uh, things from this sysadmin okay so rule set is like a container okay in which we create the the rules okay so we'll talk about the rule set and and versioning as well and then another uh, the component we have is the security or the category so whatever the things related to security all things comes under this one okay so security like if security like the basic security start with the access group and then under this ones we create uh, access role privileges and other stuff uh, so that we we have uh, under this category and also we have a security related to when we're connecting to external system so anything is related to security okay and that falls under security uh, category okay so we can see that we have few things related to oauth as well okay so when so these rules uh, will be utilized when we are connecting to external systems okay uh, we have authentications profile again this is also uh, it will be used when we connect to external system so many things is there okay under uh, security okay so i hope i have covered uh, this area okay 
and then like as you can see that when I when I was clicking any rule from that uh, left side okay it was opening in this middle window so middle window is again uh, the kind of a walk area and and this is the home screen on home screens we can see the guardrail warning details okay so guardrail uh, like it provides the quality of code okay a guardrail warnings or the guardrail details how how um, you have written your code okay uh, you are following uh, the the compliant or uh, compliance rules or not okay so those things here so this is like you can see like if you have uh, done any any things or you have violated any guardrail things okay uh, from like pega pega gives a few set of rules okay so if you do not follow then pega will will mark that as a uh, severe moderate or informational in three category okay and that we can see here okay so either introduced by you or introduced by team okay and then you can reference also so this is the this is the home screen and very basic things okay yeah so that's it for today okay and oh sorry i forget one of the important things is that the operator here okay so on this uh, left corner we have that operator link okay so on click of that one we can see the all the related informations to that operator operator means that logged in user so if i click on operator we can see here it opens that application app operator rules and uh, and we'll we'll see about this rule also that what all things is there in this rule but for now okay just things that if you have to log up so you can see here that we have the log up button we have that operator we have access group and we can see our profile as well okay so under profile we'll see our basic like the, all the details of that uh, operator so i hope this will give some basics informations how to navigate it to dev studio and that's it for uh, today thank you